Okay, so I was working for and I was driving a semi truck up to North Dakota and we were on like a two week hitch. I hadn't seen my girlfriend for a while. So I was off as I was driving this semi truck, recording it because I was going to send it to her. After we got there, I said, okay, let me just upload it to the website. You know, Xtube website was a big thing for a lot of amateurs. I thought maybe, you know, some chick will see it and I'll wind up getting the f or something. And so I completely forgot because I was working for two weeks. And in that time, it just boomed. It went viral. Everybody saw it. They downloaded it and it spread like wildfire. Why do you think you beating it in your truck was so appealing to so many people, Thor? Because at that time, this was when the first... The free tube sites were really kind of booming. There was a couple different reasons. It was a whole voyeur thing that really hadn't, people weren't showing their face while they jumped off in like public settings. It's a huge fetish. And um, I have a huge uncut d Oh. So. That'll do it. <laughs> so it went viral, found out, they fired me within two weeks. And so then it was just a, a steady incline from there and all these people started Contact me, ask me to do custom j off videos and f videos. And now, were these mostly guys or girls that were contacting you? It was mostly guys. I was waiting and waiting and waiting for girls, but women just don't buy porn the way dudes do. And now, is it, and it's not gay to make videos for guys if you're, if you're Joe and to that, for, for them, right? Oh, no, not at all. No, I love my gay fans. They totally they pay my rent and pay all my bills, and, you know? And in return, I give them a lot of big d videos. So, what's the moral of the story? Uh, I'd say the moral of the story is uh, if you're unhappy with your job, <laughs> just go ahead and try to find something that you love doing. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so now, are you, where can people find you now, Thor? You can find me on my website, www.thorjohnson.xxx, or follow me on Twitter, thorjohnson underscore xxx. Are you doing like full on scenes now in the industry? Yeah, I've been doing full-on scenes for quite a few years now, okay. and uh, I shoot wide variety. I shoot BBW, I shoot T-Girl, uh, I shoot regular-sized girls, um, it's a ton of different stuff. Very nice. Now, any sort of accidents happen on set for you as well, or has it been smooth sailing for Thor Johnson? So far, it's been pretty smooth sailing, okay. yeah. Because you know, we hear stories about, like, you know, bodily fluids going the wrong way and things like that. Well, I mean, you get shit on every now and then. But... Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, sometimes, if, even if the girl cleans out and you're up there real deep, and sometimes you pull out and a little bit of sh gets on you, but... How do you deal with that personally, Thor? Well, I mean, okay, so I used to date a girl that all she wanted to do was get f***ed up the ass seven times a day. And so... Like how many times a day? Like seven times. Oh, seven. Is Several. <laughs> even more. Seven times. So I'm not a big ass pounder because of that reason. Because, you know, eventually you're going to start hitting some sh but... Um, <laughs> I do enjoy anal sex every now and then, and if the scene calls for it, then, you know, you're going to do it. Yeah, right. But, uh, you know, it's not as bad as you would think, but it's not, to me, it's not enjoyable. It can definitely kill the mood. I can see that, but it sounds like you're a professional, Thor. Oh, thank you. <laughs>